Hey, I'm Dylan John, and like we do on this channel, let's cut out the fluff and jump straight into it. You probably already know that if you want to apply effects or a color grade from one clip to the next, you can do the old method by pressing Command C to copy the effects on this clip, go to the clip that you want the effects to be copied over to, and hit Shift Command V. This will bring up your paste attributes window where you can just hit paste if you want to paste everything, but a little tidbit here that you may not know. Let's say you just wanted to transfer over this first layer. You can just hold option and it's going to quickly deselect everything else in this paste attributes window. So rather than having to go through and deselect everything manually, just hold option and click. You're probably thinking, Dylan, I already know this. This is FCP 101, but this might be something that you don't know or you forgot and just needed a little reminder. So instead of doing that old method of pressing Command C and then hitting Command Shift V, you can actually just select the effects that you want to copy over and you can drag them directly to the clip. So let's say you have multiple clips that you want to transfer these to, just copy them over to both of them. But there's an even cooler and quicker way to do this. With this clip selected that has the effects that we want to transfer over, all you have to do is just select the effects that you want to transfer over and drag directly to the viewport. Let's say you have a clip that you want to apply the same effects to, but it's all the way at the other end of your timeline, not in view. Just don't select that clip, just put the playhead over it on the timeline, and then just drag the effects to the viewport. I suppose it's not that much quicker compared to bringing it down to your clip, but it is cooler. The next little trick is a common one, but if you don't know it, then you're definitely editing slower. So instead of pressing Command C and Command V to copy and paste something, Simply hold one key, the option key, and just drag. Another instance and when this might be useful to you, if you have a transition that you want to copy over and let's say you made a bunch of different adjustments in the inspector window on that transition, instead of having to go into your transitions browser and reapply the transition and then adjust it, simply hold that option key and drag. And that copied transition will have the same adjustments that you made in the previous one. Something else that you might find useful, if you want to try out different transitions, you don't have to keep deleting and re-adding those transitions to see how they look. Instead, just make sure the transition is selected and all you have to do is double click the transitions in your transitions browser and it'll show that new transition. So right now it is a whip transition and if you want to see how this transition would look, you just double click and now you can see it in action. Here's another one that might come in use. Let's say you bring up the range tool by pressing R and making a selection of this quieter area where you're not speaking. And let's say you just do some basic audio ducking here. Instead of having to repeat this process of pressing R and going through the same exact steps, just make sure your range tool is up by pressing R and make a range selection of your keyframes, then press Option Shift C. Go to the clip that you want to audio duck again and press Option Shift V. Those keyframes will be instantly applied and from there you can just make small tweaks. You know something I'd really appreciate because I know a lot of you are not subscribed that watch my videos. Subscribe, it would really help me to create more free content on the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.